Kansas, pretty dangerous, had nothing to lose, that us against the world mentality, but Iowa State had Brock Purdy. Case closed. Elgin Rucker was there, and for this one, the gloves were off. Well, Scott, actually, the gloves are on, except these might not be the right ones for this kind of weather. Either way, I'm feeling like I could have been in Creed 1 and Creed 2 before the Cyclones. They had to keep their guard up because things got a little rocky against the Rock Chalk Jayhawks. All right, Kansas, want to ring the bell? Ding, ding. Last one at Jack Trice for the senior Cyclones. Looking for a knockout. First round, Iowa State on the ropes down 3 0. But here comes the rope of dope. Brock Purdy, LaMichael Petway, touchdown. Then hype the crowd. Ali Fumaye makes it 7 3 Cyclones. Second quarter, third and one ISU. And Brees Hall goes over the top rope. No more boxing. That's WWE right there. Makes it 14 6. And coming out their corner after halftime, the Cyclones land another one right to the dome. Purdy to Petway again. Touchdown. Makes it 21-9. One more big hit in Kansas might go down. But no, the Jayhawks find their balance and throw a haymaker. 27-yard chin check. We'll call that an uppercut. And it cuts the lead to just five. Fourth quarter, Cyclones now down 24-21, but they're rolling with the punches. Purdy hits a quick jab to Brees Hall, and it does damage. Right on the nose, touchdown ISU. But the Jayhawks keep going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Cyclones. They score just three minutes later, so Iowa State now down 31-27. But the Cyclones land the old one-two punch. First with Petway dancing around, showing off the footwork down the sideline. Then it's Purdy with the stick and move, and he goes the distance. ISU retakes the lead 34-31, and they stay aggressive. Chance to score again, going for it on fourth down. Just got to buy some time, and boom! Sean Shaw delivers the knockout blow. Down goes Kansas, and ISU gets the win, 41-31. We just knew, all right, it's going to be a ball game now. Um, you know, whoever has the ball last might might uh, end it, and that's what happened. It prepares every single game really hard. I mean, I always, when I know that 15 is back there, I trust that he's going to make a play. When this team has needed him the most, he's been his best. And so um, it's, a, it's a pleasure to coach him. It's going to be really fun to watch him continue to grow because um, I think an even better Brock Purdy will be really dangerous.